everybody. Hey. How are you doing today? Fine, thank you. Well, I was asking them. Oh. Well, I hope you're fine, too. Yeah, we do. We How hope, are you? We hope. I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Good. I'm glad. Well, we've got uh, uh, another little something special here that if you wait till the very end, you'll find out a little bit more about it because we're not going to share everything till the very end. I'm confused. That's your normal state, and that's okay. Okay. We'll get there. You want me to just jump right into it? Let's see it. Go Let's jump for right it. into it. So, as you know, we've been getting into bed stew a little bit, and this... Did we review the... Yes, this will be the third one that we've reviewed. Mm -hmm. This bag I'm not keeping, um, but I do want to show it to you before we decide to, or before we put it up for sale because it was really cool. So, this is the bed stew orchid bag. And he can tell you the color because he's good at that. Nectar Lux. So this is is a white bag with some intentional distressing. As you can see, there's some brown showing through here. The whole thing is kind of like a crackle kind of look. Um, so it's one that you don't really have to be too careful with because if it rubs, it's supposed to look like that anyway, so you're not going to notice. This is actually woven. Um, it's not just an embossed, as you can see, sticking my finger under here. These are woven pieces of leather, which is one thing that I really loved about it when I saw it. Um, it's the same on both sides, and it comes with a detachable, really wide strap. Um, I loved this bag. When I first saw it in the store, I just instantly loved it, and I still do. Like, it's beautiful, and it's, you know, easy to grab a hold of. I like handles and stuff on my bags, and it's squishy and lovely, but... It's not really working out for me. Um, I'll tell you why, because for one, this strap um, will not stay on my shoulder. I have very strange shoulders, and so if a strap is too wide like this, I really struggle with it staying on. So that's really frustrating. And um, as far as carrying, you can, I can stick my hand in here. It's a struggle, but it doesn't really go any further than this on my wrist. And because of the shape of the handle being square, it's not meant to hang there and it's not comfortable. Um, so you either have to carry it on your shoulder or like this in your hand all the time and neither way of carrying is really working out for me also um, once it's full of stuff for me personally it's kind of heavy being that the strap causes it to hang lower on the body um, that weight pulling down that far for me is not working out for my shoulders but for somebody else who doesn't have the neck and shoulder issues that i do it'll work out just fine i think so let's take a tour of the inside there's not a whole lot to see, but as typical with the other bed stew bags that we have shown you, the inside is brown fabric. Now the fabric on this one is a lot stiffer and thicker than the fabrics in the other two that we've showed you so far. On the back here you can see it has a zipper pocket with the bed stew logo imprinted on the leather, and then down here on the bottom it has two slip pockets, and that's the whole inside here. And I see that it's very dusty inside, and I apologize for that. I'll definitely be cleaning that out before we put it up for sale, but um, it holds a lot. It's really easy to get in and out of. The zipper is kind of sunk down into the bag, as you can see. Let me zip this real quick and then I'll show you. So see it's kind of sunk down in. The zipper's hard to maneuver because it's down inside the bag, um, so I really don't ever zip it myself. but. The zipper pull does have the pyramid studs, like the other bags that we've shown you, which is really cool. Um, so that's pretty much it. The bottom, there's no feet. It is also woven leather. But overall, it's a really cool look. It's a cool vibe. Um, I enjoyed carrying it for the times that I did. Um, it's just not really functionally working out for me as far as carrying methods, but yeah. Do you have anything you want to say about it? Eh, what, would you consider that like antique brass hardware? Uh, the hardware is, yeah. It or reminds like you oiled, of tarnished brass. A little brass <laughs> or something without the like green. that. Yeah. Um, I'll see if I can give you a close-up of the hardware. I can't see what I'm showing you in the screen, so I hope this is working for you. But, yeah, it's got like a brass undertone with like a black oiled look to it. The zipper is kind of the same way. And the studs on the side. Yep, all these little studs. I like the little details that this brand puts into things. Um, it's a nice bag. It is some great leather, too. And we talked about this in our previous videos, uh, on the other two videos. 
Bedstu has some wonderful, wonderful leather. I mean, I don't know where they're getting their cuts of leather from, but it's soft, it's supple, it's uh, thick. It's, it's thick. Yeah. It's it's a really high grade quality leather. For you Dooney and Burke lovers, it is comparable to Florentine with the way that it feels, especially the backpack, the Halle backpack that I showed you in a previous video. It feels like Florentine leather in your hand. Um, for you coach lovers, it is comparable the way it feels to the 1941 leather collection. So if you're not familiar but with Bed Stew and you like those two things, you would probably like this leather also. I still think this right here outdoes those two. The more that I've seen and the more that I, I've felt, I think even between the Florentine and the 1941, I think Bed Stew still has a better quality leather. But so that's just my own personal thing. durability, I would have to agree with that. Um, as far as the way it holds up, because like I spoke about with my backpack, it's not showing wear at all like Florentine does on the corners. Now this, you wouldn't really notice if it's showing wear because it came with intentional wear. So, yep. It's um, very, it's very stressed. Stressed? Distressed. Distressed, yeah. yeah. I mean, but it's beautiful. I hate that it's not working out for me because I do love looking at it. I think it's pretty and every time I carried it, I thought... Or I felt like it really complemented my outfit and became a part of my outfit. But somebody else is going to enjoy it even more than I did, and I'm okay with that. So. And that bag was bought with the intention of doing a review on it, too. I think that's another reason why you're not really attached to it, either. Because we got it, you've used it for what? Yeah, I carried it for several weeks. and Yeah, two or three weeks. You know, I, I wanted to keep it. I My intention was to keep it because I fell in love with it at the store. But, you know, not everything works out, and that's okay. So. And it, the only way you guys are going to get honest reviews is if she uses it and tells you the good and bad. So. Yep. And the bad, like I said, the bad was just me personally and the way my body is. But that's not going to be a bad for somebody else. I have no other complaints about this bag. None. I mean, it's awesome. So. Oh. Yep. We forgot measurements. I'll hold it while you're measuring. So. Oh, I gotta. I gotta have. I'm the, already holding it. My smart arm's getting a good stick. workout. Yeah, you get her over there. So across the bottom, what do we have? Oh, uh, about thirteen and a half inches. That's with it squished out like this. So if it was there. truly to the corners, it and would hold be hold it on the corner less. There. I'll go off to this corner where it ends. Twelve inches. From seam to seam. Yeah, from seam to seam. Height. Um, that's from handle down. You've got 10. Now do from the actual part of the bag where you carry your stuff. Eh, about 7. Okay. And then the depth from seam to seam. All right there. About 3 and 3 quarter. But with this bag and the fact that it's so soft, you are not limited by the depth with what you can carry in it because look here um say this was full it can bulge out however far you need it to bulge out so yeah. we didn't do the width the way, no, we yeah just did. it's the depth from oh the yeah bottom. it's yeah, the same yeah, thing yeah. okay and then the strap drop that's just uh the straps um that's another thing let's talk about that see um the the way they've got these straps to be adjusted you can go this is the shortest adjustment measure that strap drop on the short We're at 14 inches. So it can go from 14 to who knows what, because this little thing can slide all the way around, you know, to well, the, we could know the very end of the leather. Yeah, but I, our camera view isn't that tall. Um, uh, it's fully adjustable at any length you need it to be, which is the great part about this brand is all of their straps are like that. Fully adjustable, however you need them to be adjusted, which for me, if I was going to carry this on my shoulder and have it be successful, it would have to be much shorter as a true shoulder bag like hobo kind of thing but that's not what this bag is meant for it was a long shoulder um crossbody situation but i'm too small to carry this as a crossbody so anyway but yeah lots of adjustability here so it can really fit just about anyone my arm is getting tired so i'm going to set this down now but yeah if you have any more questions about it please feel free to leave a comment um it will be going on poshmark right You're i was just going to post it in the uh i was just going to post it in our uh, bed stew group yeah but not everybody in. has access to that so we may put it on poshmark too so um if we do we'll try to include the link in this video so if you're interested in buying this it will be there available and if you're not in the groups uh or you're not familiar with poshmark or if you just don't find it 
uh, leave us a comment. Let us know. And uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we can, whether it's we'll still We'll also available. link our Facebook page. So if you are interested in this bag, you can contact us directly through our Facebook page, The Florences. And we can arrange something there, too. We can use PayPal and if you're interested in purchasing it that way. Anything else you'd like to say? Uh, I think that's it. You kind of gave away the the the, la the last part in the beginning. What? When you said it was going to be for sale, I was going to say that to the very oh, end. Oh, well, I don't know. See, he doesn't communicate these things to me, so sorry. She should have known. Oh. Just like we're supposed to know things. <sighs> okay. Anyway. All right, so this was the bed stew orchid. What do we got next? We have a Dooney video coming up next. Something that is not mine, but was sent to me from a new friend I have. And so I'm going to be doing a review on it because it's something I've been curious about. And then I'll be sending it back to her. So that'll be an interesting, interesting video. So stay tuned for that one. Hopefully in the next day or so we'll be doing that. And we may have another bed stew coming up real soon. So stay tuned. We may. Again, things I don't know. The world may never know. <laughs> they will know eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great weekend, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody. Bye.